Tim Legler alongside two really good teams, yeah. and this was high, high yeah. level basketball. Ultimately, it comes down to plays that are made and plays that aren't. How's this game one? Yeah, we got a couple games tomorrow night, Scott, but I don't know if they're going to live up to this. This felt like a playoff game. Two top teams in the West is how it should be. And it comes down sometimes to just, you know, two biggest possessions at a game. So the offensive possession by the Lakers. And we'll take a look here. They're going to run a little two-man game. I'll let this run a little bit. But as Anthony Davis clears out, you take a look at the weak side of the floor now. He's going to come over here and circle to the corner. And if you want to know why a guy like Alex Caruso is playing substantial minutes uh -huh. on a team that can win a championship, I want you to watch what he does right here as AD circles to the corner. Right about here. You see his hand up in the air? Yep. So what he is saying right now is he's going to wall off Harris. You already got Dwight Howard on Jokic. He's telling Anthony Davis to circle behind. So when LeBron James penetrates to the middle, mm -hmm. you're going to see these two guys get sealed off on the weak side. And then obviously LeBron James is going to get this thing on a bullet over here to Anthony Davis. But it's little things like that. A lot wow. of guys would have stayed out there at the three-point line, hung out, yep. and maybe ruined the possession. Instead, look at the screen, wall off two defenders, and then the faith in LeBron James and his teammate Anthony Davis knocked down three. Now, you know, contrast that with this. And we just talked about this a little bit. He said I had a furrowed brow, and here's why. I just don't understand this. Shoot it! In any way, shape, or form, what's right there because I mean he's 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 dead eye looking it up and the guy that's rotating to him is a guard so. it's a guard so and he's got a slow release anyway he shoots from the top of his head he's not going to foul you go ahead and take the shot yeah. but for whatever reason he didn't like the look of it and now you end up with this you get the penetration great job right here by LeBron coming up you got Anthony Davis as well so he's not going to get to the rim he knows it but then the key right here KCP on the weak side does a great job of reading his eyes he helps it there's not a drop off layup but when this ball goes in the air watch his reaction to it takes away the three game over biggest possession of the night and look Jokic has been really good in late game situations we ran some numbers on him today he's been as good as just about anybody in the league yeah. so only he can explain at his presser what he didn't see or what he didn't like about that shot because you're the star player. You got to take that right there. I think both both ends you see a team of five existing as a one organism five people as one both doing all the right things on the offensive and defensive side for the Lakers. I'm always going to be baffled by LeBron James settling for the worst shot in his <laughs> bag in end of game situations yeah. and it continues to be just because he has zero faith in going the free throw line yeah, isn't it, it. Yeah and he ended up with probably at the end of regulation the one shot that's the weakest in his bag which is the mid range 18 footer. He you, even, you'll give him that. Yeah he even makes the step back three I think at a higher rate than the mid range. Yeah. You never see LeBron James make that shot but look this was a team I thought was out of it a couple times down the stretch. Uh -huh. LeBron James just controls the game. He does so, good. so much physically just dominate you to an extent that he can get the ball to where he wants to on the floor and you know the play I pointed out was the playmaking AD hit the three before that as well which is also a feed from LeBron on a trail three. Um, so he can beat you obviously with both doing it at a higher level playmaking than he ever has this year. And I think he's got greater connection in some ways to Anthony Davis and faith in him than anybody he's had really since probably the championship years with Dwayne Wade. Covering Tiger Woods back in the day, I got I, I wore myself out trying to figure out a different way to talk about what he was doing at, at his ceiling. And I feel like in year 17, I'm sick of saying it myself. Yeah. But to see this kind of level of physical greatness at his age is preposterous to me and this know? man's got a heavy slate this weekend in Chicago yeah. so some guys maybe would you know put quite as much into the game as he did he's diving on the floor for loose balls late at altitude right exactly yeah so left, all, all you need to know about the guy quite literally left it on the floor man we could we would have watched that until three in the morning Tim appreciate you man. got it thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus